and welcome to the 48th annual AAKP National Patient Meeting, Transforming American Kidney Health, Patients Take the Lead. My name is Erin Kale, and I am AAKP's Deputy Director. I am very pleased to moderate this advocacy and engagement session on building a new National Veteran Ambassador Network. Today, we are proudly announcing that AAKP is standing up the next phase of our National Ambassador Initiative with a new program designed to recruit and deploy veterans and military family ambassadors. AAKP's Center for Patient Engagement and Advocacy was launched in 2014 as part of AAKP's new national strategy to better engage, train, and deploy kidney patients in ways that are the most effective to impact kidney policy and medical practices. This includes critical times when national legislation, health program implementation, regulations, or potential delays in the pharmaceutical approval process pose a concern to patient access to quality care or their future healthcare outcomes. AAKP provides online advocacy tools, social media training, credentialing patient advocates, and links to federal agency patient engagement opportunities. Our training is conducted by top experts in the fields of policy, media, and government operations. To further extend AAKP's national strategy and our impact, in 2017, AAKP launched its ambassador initiative to ensure the voices of kidney patients and their families, as well as living kidney donors are heard. Our national ambassadors are active in nearly every state, and we have a growing global network of allied ambassadors as well. Ambassadors utilize their personal experiences and professional skills to contribute to both the AAKP mission and the larger kidney community based on their desire to serve a cause larger than themselves. AAKP helps provide federal officials with the patient input they seek through our ambassadors engagement. Ambassadors maintain relationships and communications with their elected leaders to be sure kidney disease is on their radar. Ambassadors participate in focus groups, roundtables, technical evaluation panels, surveys, clinical trials, public testimony before federal agencies, and more. Ambassadors are part of a movement to create a more informed community locally as well as in our nation's capital. And they are recognized as leaders in the kidney community. Their perspectives are sought after to improve diagnosis, treatment, and care for those impacted by kidney disease. AAKP ambassadors are our supercharged volunteers who are dedicated to elevating the kidney patient voice in all medical and national policy decisions, protecting the unique relationship between patients and their doctors, educating patients and their caregivers, and preserving patient choices as informed healthcare consumers. AAKP ambassadors are determined to disrupt the status quo of kidney care. These individuals engage in efforts to improve care for not only themselves, but all individuals with kidney disease. And they work to ensure kidney patients have access to approved and available treatments, that they are equipped with the knowledge to make informed decisions, and that they are provided the opportunity to lend their voice in all aspects of their care including in the research and development of new treatments, therapeutics, and devices. AAKP ambassadors are individuals with early stages of kidney disease, individuals on all forms of dialysis, kidney transplant recipients, family members, caregivers and care partners of kidney patients, and living kidney donors. We have grown to over 165 ambassadors representing nearly all states plus Washington, D.C., and are now active in nearly a dozen countries. I'm excited to share that we are launching the next phase in our ambassador initiative as we head towards Veterans Day to engage more veterans and military families to impact kidney care for America's veterans. In 2017, AAKP launched our Veterans Health Initiative to support the interests and legal rights of veterans in all health and budget deliberations within the US Congress and across the executive branch. Our goal was to support the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, the VA Kidney Medicine Program, and all veterans with kidney disease. 
The VA Kidney Medicine Program is nationally recognized and enjoys, and enjoys a solid reputation among veterans, medical professionals, and elected leaders. Earlier this year, AAKP entered into a formal partnership with the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs. This formal collaboration aims to improve health outcomes and enhance the overall quality of life for veterans with kidney diseases, including veterans currently receiving care in the VA system and veterans who receive care outside the VA system. The partnership is facilitated under the Veterans Health Administration's National Center for Healthcare Advancement and Partnerships. You can read our release announcing this partnership on our website. The primary objectives of the VHA AAKP partnership are to one, increase awareness and understanding of chronic kidney disease, its causes, complications, and treatments among the veteran community, including their families and loved ones. Two, to distribute educational and supportive resources to veterans with a suspected or confirmed diagnosis of kidney disease. Three, to provide veterans with kidney health information and VA benefits for which they are eligible by linking to existing VA resources. Four, provide healthcare professionals within VA and VHA with education and other resources available from AAKP. Five, to provide healthcare professionals within VA and VHA with information on potential research opportunities that are federally funded or funded by private sector AAKP partners. And six, to provide employment resources to veterans diagnosed with kidney diseases through a virtual job fair utilizing AAKP partner organizations. AAKP is proud to have an extensive veteran and military family representation among its board of directors, patient ambassadors, and grassroots membership. Our veteran and military family ambassadors are active in the District of Columbia, Maryland, and Virginia, and from coast to coast, including Alaska, California, Delaware, Iowa, Maine, Minnesota, New Mexico, Pennsylvania, Texas, and West Virginia. Our ambassadors represent the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps, as well as National Guard and Reserve components. Today, I am pleased to introduce some AAKP leaders and ambassadors who are veterans representing the Marines, Army, and Navy, and will be sharing their experiences. Our first speaker is AAKP Vice President Jennifer Jones, U.S. Marine Corps veteran and two-time kidney recipient. In 2011, while serving in the U.S. Marines as a combat camera videographer, Jennifer's kidneys declined while forward deployed to Afghanistan. After being medically evacuated back to the States, she was diagnosed with membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis type 1 idiopathic, or MPGN. Jennifer admits in the beginning she was considered a challenging patient because at first she couldn't accept what was happening to her. She realized when she began in-center hemodialysis that she had to accept her current situation and focus on what was within her control, which was becoming her own advocate and taking charge of her health and well-being. Once approved for a kidney transplant, Jennifer began an active pursuit for an altruistic living donor. On April 2nd, 2015, she received a kidney transplant and a new sister, a selfless person who did not know her but felt compelled to save her life after hearing her story. For the next five years, Jennifer focused on rebuilding her life by completing a BA in organizational leadership from Penn State. Becoming engaged in chronic kidney disease advocacy work with AAKP and launching a business until MPGN reappeared and caused rapid acute kidney injury to her transplanted kidney. She returned to dialysis at the beginning of January 2021. Despite choosing peritoneal dialysis as a way to remain safe during COVID-19, because of her severely compromised immune system, she spent a significant amount of time in and out of the hospital for other ailments. Despite those challenges, Jennifer was determined to find a donor and be placed on a transplant list again. 
She was fortunate enough in the same year to find another altruistic donor who was willing to be in a kidney paired exchange. But in November, a deceased donor match was found and she received her second transplant on November 28th. Her altruistic donor went on to donate their kidney to someone else who was in need. If it wasn't for the support of her family, friends, and fellow kidney warriors, she wouldn't be here today. Jennifer is currently Vice President of AAKP, a member of the Center for Dialysis Innovation Patient Advisory Board, the Patient and Family Advisory Council of Quality Insights Renal Network 5, the National CASER Patient and Family Engagement Learning and Action Network, the Veterans Transplantation Association, and Kindness for Kidneys. She is passionate about advocating for policies that improve the quality of life for the kidney patient and their families, patient-centered education, community building, and removing barriers to living organ donation and innovation. I'd now like to turn it over to Jennifer Jones, who will speak on this new ambassador initiative expansion. Thank you, Erin. Hello, thank you for being here today. Whether you're a veteran yourself or have a veteran in your life, you're no stranger to the unique challenges posed by kidney disease. I'm here to extend a heartfelt invitation, an invitation to join us in the American Association of Kidney Patients Veterans Health Initiative. AAKP developed this program in 2016 in collaboration with veterans and VA professionals, and we, have, and we formally rolled out our initiative at the 2017 U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs Summit on Kidney Disease Innovations. Over the course of the past seven years, we have been the largest voice on kidney issues in the veterans community outside the VA. But before we dive into the heart of this initiative, let's begin by highlighting a monumental development. As Erin discussed in her inter introduction to this session, AAKP, the largest and oldest independent kidney patient organization in the U.S., launched a new groundbreaking partnership with the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. This partnership is designed to transform the lives of veterans like you who are navigating kidney diseases, aiming to enhance your health outcomes and overall quality of life. What sets this partnership apart is that AAKP boasts extensive veteran and military family representation across its board of, direction, board of directors, national patient ambassadors, and grassroots memberships. This includes President Ed Hickey and me. We both proudly served in the United States Marine Corps. AAKP truly understands the unique challenges and needs of veterans like you. Our partnership with the VA is well underway. We are collaborating with external stakeholders to advance employment opportunities for veterans through virtual hiring fairs and have conducted a special Capitol Hill Day to advocate for increased funding for kidney health and innovations at the VA and the Department of Defense. And today, we are standing up a new initiative to support AAKP's Veterans Health Initiative and our new partnership with the Department of Veteran Affairs our new veteran and military family ambassador program. Your involvement in this initiative will allow you to make a positive impact on the lives of veterans with kidney disease and contribute to ongoing efforts to improve kidney health policies and treatments. Now, let's delve into why awareness and understanding are so critical when it comes to chronic kidney disease. Early detection and knowledge about CKD are absolute game changers for effective management. Veterans, due to their service, carry unique risk factors for kidney disease, including exposure to environmental hazards and the stress of combat. Here's the heart of it. The AAKP Veterans Health Initiative, led by our president, Ed Hickey as chair, and our new veteran and military family ambassadors are at the forefront of efforts to elevate awareness and understanding of CKD among veterans. The initiative is designed to advance research, innovation, and policies aimed at safeguarding the highest standards in kidney care and treatment for veterans managing kidney disease both inside and outside the VA medical system. We are committed to ensuring that our fellow veterans have their voices heard retain access to the care they have earned and are legally entitled to at the VA and elsewhere, and gain the benefit 
of new research and innovations in the realms of biologics, diagnostics, and devices. Navigating the waters of kidney disease can be overwhelming, particularly when you're unsure where to find dependable information and support. The AAKP, in partnership with the VA, is unwavering in its commitment to assist veterans like you by disseminating educational materials and supportive resources. Over the last six years, the AAKP Veterans Health Initiative and our veteran and military family ambassadors has provided educational programming geared towards veterans and their care partners on various kidney disease topics, collaborating with renowned medical and research experts from esteemed institutions, teaching hospitals, and key federal agencies. Resources include on-demand video content featuring officials across the health system on the VA response to kidney disease, veteran health in COVID-19, shared VA resources such as its mobile app, the COVID Coach, and additional AAKP patient education and treatment materials such as coping, living, and thriving with kidney disease, understanding kidney transplantation, and the popular conversation starter, questions to ask your healthcare provider about changing dialysis therapies. Now visualize this scenario. You receive a kidney disease diagnosis and it feels like the ground has shifted beneath your feet. Through the initiative resources, you discover a lifeline, a trove of guidance and support and answers to your questions about managing kidney disease. These resources arm you and your care partners with the tools and knowledge needed to navigate this complex journey with newfound confidence. But here's where your role as a veteran and military family ambassador step into the spotlight. By participating in this initiative, you're not just acquiring knowledge for your personal benefit, you have the extraordinary opportunity to become an advocate for your fellow veterans and their care partners. You can share the wisdom you've gained, offering invaluable guidance and support to those who are grappling with kidney disease. This peer support is nothing short of powerful, capable of making a profound difference in the lives of others. Now, access to health care and benefits is not just a privilege, but a fundamental right for veterans. Yet, you might not fully be aware of all the services available to you, particularly those tied to kidney health. The AAKP Veterans Health Initiative ensures that you are well versed in the, a in the VA benefits specifically relevant to your situation. By joining this initiative, you're directly connected to VA resources, simplifying the process of accessing the care you need. Yet this is where your advocacy for fellow veterans takes center stage. As a veteran and military family ambassador, you become a guiding light, helping fellow veterans navigate the labyrinth of VA benefits related to kidney health. Your support goes beyond yourself, extending a hand to those who may not be fully aware of their entitlements. Now your health care is not just a checkbox, it's paramount and you deserve healthcare providers who are at the forefront of knowledge about the latest advancements in kidney disease treatment. The AAKP Veterans Health Initiative takes this to heart by focusing on educating healthcare professionals within the VA and VHA. As a veteran and military family ambassador, your involvement in this initiative will empower you to engage in meaningful conversations with your healthcare providers. You become your own advocate, ensuring that you receive nothing but the best care. Moreover, you can amplify your impact by sharing your experiences and insights with fellow veterans, empowering them to advocate for their health care needs as well. Picture this. You have a visit with your VA health care provider and you come prepared. Armed with knowledge from the initiative's resources, you're ready to ask informed questions discuss treatment options, and actively participate in your healthcare discussions. You're not just a patient, you're a champion of your own well-being. Research is at the forefront of medical progress, and the AAKP Veterans Health Initiative 
actively supports healthcare professionals within the VA and VHA by providing information on potential research opportunities that are federally funded or funded by private sector AAKP partners. When you participate in this initiative, you become part of a community that is deeply committed to advancing kidney disease treatment and care. Veteran and military family ambassadors have access to valuable information about research initiatives that could shape the future of kidney health. By sharing these opportunities with healthcare professionals within VA and VHA, you're not just supporting your own health, but also contributing to the growth of knowledge and the development of innovative treatments that can benefit countless veterans and individuals facing kidney disease. Your involvement in research advocacy can directly influence the advancement of care and therapies in the field of kidney health. Imagine you providing healthcare professionals within VA, VHA, with insights into research projects that align with the needs and challenges faced by veterans with kidney disease. Your contribution as a veteran and military family ambassador helps bridge the gap between cutting edge research and the delivery of the best possible care to your fellow veterans. Your involvement in this initiative goes beyond personal benefits. It allows you to become an advocate for research that has the potential to transform kidney disease treatment. By sharing these opportunities with healthcare professionals, you're taking an active role in shaping the future of kidney health for veterans and individuals worldwide. Now, sustaining your livelihood is a significant concern, especially as you manage your kidney health. Many veterans confronting kidney diseases wrestle with worries about how their condition might affect their careers and how they are able to continue to support their family. Here, once more, the AAKP Veterans Health Initiative steps up. The initiative has elevated employment opportunities for veterans through virtual hiring fairs with their partner organization, Career Eco. AAKP and Career Eco have operated in partnership for over six years to provide job opportunities to kidney patients and US military veterans suffering from kidney diseases. Consider this scenario. You participate in a virtual job fair organized by the initiative, and you connect with employers who understand the unique challenges you face due to your kidney disease. Your advocacy for employment resources isn't just about your own success. It empowers other veterans to seek meaningful employment opportunities despite their health challenges. In essence, the AAKP Veterans Health Initiative offers a multifaceted opportunity for veterans with kidney disease. By becoming a veteran and military family ambassador, you'll not only gain support and knowledge for yourself, but also have the opportunity to extend that support to others and contribute to advancements in kidney health, all while ensuring that veterans like you receive the care and resources they deserve. Your advocacy can be a powerful force for change, both in the lives of individuals facing kidney disease today and in the future. Your commitment to service and your dedication to your country remains unwavering. And through this initiative, you can continue to make a positive impact on the lives of others. In summary, the AKP Veterans Health Initiative and our veteran and military family ambassadors are vital resources for veterans and their care partners offering support, knowledge, and opportunities for advocacy. We encourage you to explore our website to learn more and sign up. Thank you for attention, and we look forward to welcoming you into our community. Thank you, Jennifer, for leading by example and for your instrumental role in expanding our amazing group of ambassadors who are veterans. And thank you for your service in the Marine Corps. I'd now like to introduce our next speaker, Durante Briggs. Durante is the founder and CEO of the Veterans Transplantation Association. He is a highly decorated, honorable discharge Desert Storm Shield veteran. A former hemodialysis patient who received a kidney transplant approximately 11 years ago at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, Durante serves as an ambassador for AAKP the United Network for Organ Sharing, Donate Life Maryland, and Living Legacy Foundation. Durante has a background in criminal justice services 
retiring after 20 years of service with the Virginia Department of Corrections. He received his BA in criminal justice and law enforcement at St. Leo University. As a kidney patient advocate, Durante volunteers his time throughout the community in Baltimore City, sharing his story about the importance of kidney health, proper care while on dialysis, post-transplant, and organ donation. Durante was selected Volunteer of the Year several years in a row for the Living Legacy Foundation. In addition, he volunteers at Washington, D.C. Veterans Medical Center Renal Unit and works on the Peer Mentoring Specialist Program at Washington, D.C. Veterans Medical Center, which provides mentoring from pre-dialysis to post-transplant veteran patients. Durante is also a member of Team Maryland at the U.S. Transplant Games and has participated in the World Transplant Games representing Team USA. Durante, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Aaron Kell and AAKP for having me here to talk about the veteran action to all of being a part of AAKP. It's so wonderful to be able to speak to so many individuals that are veterans, their family members, so that we all can come together and make a difference. It's such a great pleasure that with my years of service in the military, been in the Gulf War, and after the Gulf War, I never realized that I had kidney disease. But when I had a physical, and I understood the fact of having kidney disease that I was entering and stage renal disease, I reached out to AAKP and became an ambassador. And being an ambassador for AAKP has taught me a lot about educating myself, about self-awareness, about more about kidney disease, especially when I had my transplant. And after I had my transplant, I'm gonna tell you, it was a beautiful thing. My doctor advised me after I received the kidney transplant, he said, hey, we did not give you a kidney to sit in a rocking chair, but to get out in the community to make a difference. So I've been doing that since 2012. And being a part affiliated with AAKP, it encouraged me to even start my own nonprofit for veterans, Veterans Transplantation Association. And I thank AAKP for uh, supporting me and helping me along the way. But those veterans that are out there, AAKP, we are here for you. We want you to understand you're not alone. Just like um today, I met a couple and we talked about kidney disease and about transplantation, about at Walter Reed. So, but in the future, we plan on getting together. But one of the most important things being a part of AAKP is one of the greatest things that I could have ever considered. And I'm asking all you veterans out there, join AAKP so that we all can come together to make a difference for the veteran community, for the Department of Veteran Affairs, and other nonprofit organizations like-minded with AAKP. And I would greatly appreciate seeing you all real soon. Thank you, Durante. Thank you for your service in the U.S. Army, and thank you for being such an engaged AAKP ambassador. I'd like to introduce our final speaker for this session, Ms. Candy Gagney. Candy was employed as a certified surgical technologist at UPMC McKeesport Hospital and is a retired Navy Hospital Corpsman certified surgical technologist. In December of 2016, Candy broke her ankle and had to have surgery. By February 2017, she was found unresponsive with a high creatinine level. She had emergency dialysis for the next several weeks and an inclusive kidney biopsy. Her kidneys did not respond to conservative treatment and she was diagnosed with end-stage kidney failure. She had a catheter placed and in April 2017, she started dialysis. By July, she was placed on the transplant list. Candy also served as care partner for her husband, who suffered from service-related partial paralysis of the left leg, AFib, congestive heart failure, and stage four kidney disease. Upon her diagnosis, Candy knew that she wanted to take her experience as a healthcare educator to help other newly diagnosed patients work their way through the fear of the unknown 
and be someone that can bridge the gap between being a healthcare provider and a patient. Candy became an AAKP ambassador and raises awareness of kidney disease in her local community and on a national level. Candy, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Erin, for that wonderful uh, in introduction. Just a little bit about myself. Like Erin said, my name is Candy Gagney. I'm a retired Naval Hospital Corpsman, AKP, AAKP ambassador, um, transplant recipient, and former dialysis patient. Let me tell you a little bit about my naval history. I uh, went to boot camp uh, 17, at the age of 17, 45 years ago. My boot camp was in, in Orlando, Florida. I went to, camp, or went to Great Lakes, Illinois to become a hospital corpsman. I was also stationed at Portsmouth, Virginia, which is where I met my husband, Tom. I had my daughter in Beaufort, South Carolina, also stationed in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, Groton, Connecticut, and Okinawa, Japan. I retired from Groton, Connecticut and moved back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. During that time, was just a, a regular healthcare um, practitioner. I worked in the operating room as a scrub nurse and nurse educator. I, uh, my husband was a hospital administrator and everything went fine until February, 2017. February 2017, I was six weeks after I had a surgery to fix a fractured ankle and um, my husband found me unresponsive. When we got to the emergency room, um, they took my labs and so on and I found out I was in kidney failure, which was to a great surprise because my kidneys had been functioning fine just six weeks prior to that. I crashed into dialysis in the ICU and stayed several days in the hospital um, for testing to see if they could find out why I went into kidney failure and to um, continue dialysis. I was discharged with a new diagnosis, um, a fear of the unknown because I was didn't know what I didn't know. And I was able to um, uh, go to in-center dialysis because I really didn't think that uh, peritoneal dialysis was the thing for me and home hemo wasn't really mentioned. So um, I chose what I knew and uh, went to in-center dialysis. One of the things that I realized when I got to the in-center was how many, just how many veterans were there. And that surprised me because I thought I was one of the only ones. However, what I have come to find out since that out of 16 million plus people in the country, one in every six um, veterans has kidney disease. So no wonder there were so many of us in the center. Uh, the other thing that I found out is that I was a good candidate for um, having um, a transplant. So I went on and got evaluated and four months later I was listed. After my listing, I reached out to uh, people on social media, especially on Facebook, and I was able to find out that um, there was such a thing as the living donor and that you could use a Facebook page to go for that and to invite friends and family. I invited friends and family to in my search for a kidney, and one of my friends, Sarah, just happened to be um, working for one of our state representatives. Sarah saw my story and happened to be meeting with a constituent who was a kidney advocate and an AAKP ambassador. Her name was Bobby Reed. Sarah was able to um, introduce Bobby and I together and that's how I found out about AAKP. From having not known anything about where to look for any answers, I was able to get good information from the website, from Renal Life, from um, all the various publications, and especially all these yummy recipes. Uh, Bobby convinced me that I was just the kind of person that AAKP was looking for as, as uh, an ambassador. So she uh, employed me to go ahead and to um, apply for ambassadorship, which I did, and I was accepted. Um, I also, uh, she also said that the, there was an upcoming meeting in um, Tampa, Florida, in which um, all patients that, that had kidney disease would get together and would discuss our issues and, and the things that, that were going on in the government policies, those kinds of things, and that that would be a good thing for me to do and that they had scholarships. I applied for a scholarship and received one. 
And so I was off to Tampa, Florida to learn more about AAKP and just how to be an advocate. This was one week before my scheduled transplant. I went to Tampa and I met several people. I met our, our then president, current president, Richard Knight. I met past president, Paul Conway, um, CEO, Diana Kleins, um, Aaron Kale, who happened to introduce me today, and um, Jim Myers, just to name a few. Um, they made me more excited about uh, participating in AAKP and the things that I had to offer, especially as a veteran, which really surprised me. I went on and I started to do community activities uh, with my teammate, Bobby, and we um, would table events at, at local community fairs, at uh, churches, at schools, wherever we could get a table to get the word out on kidney disease, uh, donation, transplant, and, and all issues that had to deal with kidney kidney disease. That went on for about a year until the next patient meeting came up. That's where I found out about the Veterans Initiative, Veterans Health Initiative um, at the next meeting in Washington, DC. And when I was able to find out that there was an innovative um, requirement through the patient um, um, education center that AAKP had with the VA that we could talk about issues that had to deal with veterans and there was a direct line open and that was something that I was very interested in and so I asked to join on the committee. At that meeting I met with our now president Ed Hickey, um, our now vice president Jennifer Jones and ambassadors Kent Bressler and Durante Briggs and I was able to learn a lot more about how to lobby, especially for veterans issues, and how to bring those up in the scope of things as we were talking about veterans care, or about care for kidney patients overall. Um, so I continued to do that, and I reached out to our local VA hospital and the chief of nephrology, Dr. Paul Pawlowski, uh, AAKP um, member here in Pittsburgh at the VA, and contacted him concerning how we could get the word out about kidney disease and how rampant it was in the veterans um, community. Um, and then COVID struck. So all the, the plans that we had sort of got put on hold and they're still on hold, but hopefully with the new affiliation agreement between the VA and um, AAKP, we can roll that out on not only here in Pittsburgh, but nationwide to help all the veterans um, out there that might be at risk for end stage renal disease. I also um, would catch at my community events, anybody that had a hat on that, that said they were a veteran or a t-shirt on that said that they were a veteran. And I um, would ask them to please um, uh, consider um, finding out if they did have kidney disease and because that opened them up for benefits, especially if they were stationed at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina in um, uh, the Iraq war or desert storm and Iraq and Afghanistan along with um, uh, Vietnam because there was a, a, a large amount of people that were, had kidney disease because of being stationed in those places and there were benefits that were available to them. I also reached, recently reached out to um, an organization called Dove Transplant. Dove Transplant is a non-for-profit organization that links kidney donors, kidney donors with veteran prospective recipients in order for them to be able to get a transplant. This is altruistic donors unknown to the people before their donation. And Dove is, a, is just a, a, new, a new organization and it's gonna be very, very much help to those um, veterans out there looking for kidneys. In fact, I found one of my, my shipmates that I had been stationed with is one of the, the um, veterans that is looking for a kidney. So I'm anxious to um, continue on work with them and they are in the exhibit hall exhibiting at this meeting. And so please check out their booth. I additionally continue to um, uh, do the community outreach. Um, I was featured in the um, Renal Life magazine, which is an excellent magazine, um, tells you different spotlights about different kidney patients and their journeys. I was featured in last November's edition 
uh, is, with the Veterans Day edition, which was extremely, I'm extremely honored to have done. Um, I continue to uh, reach out to my local representatives. In fact, uh, we are looking at on the statewide to uh, add some additional information in the Living Donor Protections Act that, that here in PA and my state senator is the, the one that's pushing for it. So I meet routinely with her and her staff and um, we do all kinds of events with her. I also have been able with Bobby to um, secure uh, the um, uh, co-sponsorship of my new uh, House representative, National House representative, Chris Deluzio for the Living Donor Protection Act on a national level. So it's important that, that number one, we get out and we meet our, our representatives, local and federal, that we get out and use our voice to talk about kidney disease wherever we can and to tell our stories. It's, it's hard for us to tell our stories, a lot of us, especially me, um, but our story is, is beneficial to those other kidney patients that follow us and to those that might be able to become living donors. So please share that out. Um, also, um, become an ambassador. Ambassadors uh, do things like this. Uh, we go to meetings. We have the, the full backing of AAKP. Um, they give us all the literature that we need to, to be able to speak to um, legislators, to speak to patients, to speak to caretakers. Um, the Renal Life is a great um, reference, as is the website. And like I said before, the recipe cards are a hook to get anybody in to um, talk about them because everybody wants to eat more healthy. Um, and, and begin advocating, even if it's just sharing the post. That's a form of advocation. And every post you share reaches out to your, your network and that gets spread thousands of times over. You never know who you're going to affect and who's going to need to hear from you. Make relationships, um, network with uh, various people, which is AAKP is great for. I've got some great friends and I call them my AAKP family. And without going, meeting Bobby, going to that first meeting, I would never be here and I would never be talking to you. And um, I am just happy to say that, that um, I was honored to do this today, and thank you so very much, AAKP, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye. Thank you, Candy. Thank you for your service in the U.S. Navy, and thank you for being such an engaged AAKP ambassador. Thank you again to our veteran speakers, Jennifer Jones, Durante Briggs, and Candy Gagney for their service, as well as their commitment to educating and empowering those impacted by kidney disease. And thank you all for joining us for this advocacy and engagement training session titled Building a New National Veteran Ambassador Network. If you are a veteran or a member of a military family and are interested in being part of new veteran and military family ambassador program, please reach out to me at ekale at aakp.org.